welcome back to Art. This is Winslow here, and we are in the middle of the uh, Arc Winter Festival event. And uh, I've got a couple bits and pieces here. Um, I've got a couple of the drops, and I've gone to Gacha Claws. I got a reindeer hat for my Jerboa. I got a stocking cap, one of the new ones for me. It's kind of cool. It's impractical and scorched earth, but you know, it does nothing. I did find and tame a very good Carno, and at the same time, finally got a thorny dragon. So. It's a good time. I can finally now get wood. Unfortunately, the petrified cactus, these ones, here, they do not count as uh, harvestable by the thorny dragons, which is dumb. But one of the things you do with the... Let's see if I have any... I just have coal. I don't have any mistletoe left because I gave it all to the catch claws which are all over the valley here. I wonder if you get something by giving a coal to a catch claws Maybe he'll give me a crystal. Uh, but by giving them Sorry. Oh, well, you can get presents from them with the coal. I don't know if it's any good. Oh, well, dino candy. So we might as well use up this coal here. I'm going to do it one by one because I don't want to just. I don't want to just give them all the rest of it. Now, the Winter Wonderland on Scorched Earth, it's really, really easy to get the presents that drop from Rapture Claws. The problem with Scorched Earth is the day-night cycle is so different that there's less time so but as you see here I did get from a gacha claws yesterday a pretty decent long neck rifle so today I'm gonna be making some ammo and we're gonna go try to get a Argentavis so we're going to be going out hunting today. Title of the video, The Hunt, or The Hunter. And what these gacha crystals do, now the gachas come from extinction. And you basically you feed them items as sort of a recycler. And they create these crystals on their back. And the crystals pop out and then you can open them and get resources or materials or items. And they added the seasonal gachas for the Winter Wonderland, which are good and bad. They cannot be tamed and they are all over. So they're pretty obnoxious. You know what? I'll take it. You'll get candy, which gives a speed boost to a dino you feed it to. And a temporary color change. You get chibis. And... Ooh, a chibi featherlight. That I actually want to use. Okay. 
care about naming it. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Because with the Chibi Glow Pets, they actually provide light. So, free light resource. So that's cool. And let's uh, we'll put you up. Simple decoration. I made some of the decoratives. They have a duration. They won't last beyond the event, but they'll be good. Um, that Mastercraft stone hatchet can become trash. And what I want to do now is I need to make some gunpowder. So gunpowder is going to be a combination of spark powder and charcoal made in either a mortar and pestle or a chemistry station. And chemistry station is going to be much more efficient in making that. And I haven't been burning a lot of wood for charcoal because I haven't had good wood, wood gathering until now with the thorny dragon. So I am going to swap that out and start charcoal production. So we can start getting more coal and then we can have more gunpowder and ammo to go get our Argentavis. So I'm going to go ahead and Pause this for now, go harvest more wood, go burn some more, uh, burn up some more char charcoal, and then we'll make some ammo and we will get started on searching for a bird. And I'll see you when I get back. All right, I am back and I've got some gunpowder here that we're going to show you. Now I'm going to make some ammo for my long neck rifle. So we've got in the smithy station, we've got gunpowder and metal. Go into weapons, ammo, and you'll see this highlight here. It takes 12 gunpowder, 2 ingot. So we can't make very much, because also keep in mind we don't have very much gunpowder. But one of these crafts will give you two bullets. While these are crafting out, we're also going to, basically what I want is I want to have trank darts rather than rifle bullets. I'm going to take some leftover narcotic. Let's check here to see if I have any narcotic beyond that. No. Maybe, can I make some? Do I have any... Not enough to really make it worth it. Do I have any in here? Yes. Okay, that is worth it. Got that in there. And the last bit of gunpowder. So I'd really like to have above 50 bullets. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, and then we can make, we won't need 50, 52, I want 40 darts to start, because again, I don't know how successful we're going to be in finding an Argentavis, let alone cornering it and pinning it down and getting it knocked out. Now, some things that I take with me generally whenever I go out hunting and taming. I take wooden spiked walls so that I can surround the tame and keep it safe from passing annoyances. I'm going to refill my water, I'm going to grab some food, and I'm going to bring my tent with me. This way, and I might as well just make the remaining, because I'm only going to be using darts. And I'm going to take the tent with me and my Draboa. 
so that if weather comes, I can pop in the tent and wait out the storm. And the problem with the Argentavis, where they're located, is they are located in like high carnivore country. See those striped hills over there? That is mostly where you're going to find them in those types of hills on scorched earth. And they're full of carnos, they're full of thorny dragons, they're full of lots of hungry little annoying things. And also, it's right next to the scar, which is where the wyverns nest down in the volcano area. So I'm going to get some last minute preparations here and then I will head on over that way. And on our way to the hills here, I'm just going to check this red drop and see if I can get to it before it disappears. I went ahead and used a candy here on my moth so that she's got a speed boost and an ugly face. <laughs> Hideous event colors. And just for experience, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Genesis Chronicle note here. Even though I've already got them all. Just so that she can get more experience. And... The hardest part about taming is locating the thing that you want to tame. As I've said before, the the rarest the rarest dino in Ark is the one that you were looking for. The second hardest part is protecting the tame. Protecting the tame while it's unconscious from all of the little nasties that we have here. So that was mostly useless because I don't need any of that and that I don't even think there are Megalania on here so I'm, and I would never make that. Don't get me wrong, I like Megalania, but this isn't a map optimized for Megalanias. So I'm just gonna fly around here with my moth and try to locate I want at least a level 100 RG. There's not really much of a point in, in trying to work on taming one that's below that. So let's look at this one first here. Let's see level 20. Most of them are going to be really, really low level. And I might have to clear a bunch out before we really can get a good one. So I'm going to work on this for quite a bit and I'll, I'll check in with you.
Here on a hillside, I have located the Argentavis that I am interested in. It's a 130 male. And I want to kind of take out the low level competition. So, fortunately, honestly, really hard to hit. They have a very small hitbox, shockingly enough. It's best to wait for them to sit down, but we're just going to go for it. I'm going to load this rifle. Now when you've got the darts in the rifle, you can't use a scope which is dumb. And what I would like to do is aggro him. I can body pull. They will follow, but they lose interest. Thankfully they don't have a knockback. At least much of one. Wait a moment for the tranks to ramp up. shots. One more dart should do. And then the problem with then this part of it is they go into places of stupidity and danger.
Did it like phase through the world? See, it's running far. What I don't want is for it to do what it's doing and go out into the, over the dunes. So maybe I can. Ah, beautiful. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. <laughs> uh, perfect. Okay, so then I'm going to turn all of this off because this is excellent, but it's also broken. And I'm gonna leave this guy here. I am going to surround it a little bit from the top with these as I as I can because I want to prevent anything from up above really messing with it and this is just not professional spike placing. Okay, so I've got the RG knocked out and tracked and relatively safe. Now I want to go get it some food to eat. And most things prefer prime meat. If I could get mutton, if I could find a sheep, that would be the best. I do have some cooked prime meat, but I think that is not going to be optimal. So let's just hunt down these. I'll just kill these uh, low level RGs here. I will take their feet though. You might get some prime out of them. Yep. You know what? I should have brought salt. I did that whole thing about salt. And then I didn't bring any. But that's fine. This is a 130 RG. I'm going to let it starve down a little bit. And then we'll put in a, a pile of prime meat. And uh, then we'll be set. And I'll check back in. All right. And a thunderstorm started, or an electrical storm, but uh, we're, we're far enough out from the center, and the Ar Argentavis is below, he's lost about 300 some odd in his hunger. So we're going to go ahead and start feeding him. He's going to start eating pretty quick. As you can see, starve taming is where it's at because <laughs> literally <laughs> one tick below. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm going to wait for him to wake up here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and untrack. Once he gets to. 5750 for the hunger that will pop on up. And the RG is a most excellent tame. It is a great utility bird for flight and navigation and travel. They can also pick up things with their talents. They can pick up small creatures in their beak and they can carry someone on their back. Their saddle doubles as a smithy and they have excellent weight reduction when they are carrying raw materials for most items, most goods.
No, I'm not even going to bother to pick up those spikes. I am going to pick up my tent, though, because I thought it was going to be an electric storm right on us. But we're not... We're not in the way. So then I am going to head back home now and we'll get this guy saddled up and I will show you some of the big benefits of having an Argentavis in ARC. And I'll see you in a bit. Right. And we are home here with our new Argentavis and uh, it's got its saddle, which again doubles as a smithy. The saddle is pretty cheap to make. It's just hide, fiber, and chitin or keratin. And the bird is a really good all-purpose travel mount and crafting on the go. Uh, but the thing I like the most about it... Let's try to find something small. is going to be with like its taming assist. So if you have a decent level creature that you want to pick up and tame for safety, you want to put into a taming pen, right click, picks up a small or medium creature with some restrictions, and then you could take it wherever you need, and right click to release, and it will drop it into your taming pen and then you can knock it out and feed it safely. You can also grab hostile creatures that are small. I use them a lot of times for clearing out raptors. And one of the other great things is when they eat something that's when they harvest a body, they get a healing buff that gives them pretty significant healing back. Because they are, I mean, they're predatory, but they also scavenge. Now, they're not super fast. You would have to get a really good imprinted one when in using your level up specifically into speed to be fast enough to deal with a wyvern or get away from a wyvern. Is these are they're not super maneuverable they don't swoop like the owls and the griffins from Ragnarok they don't have the spin attack that the pteranodons have and if if you get caught by the wyvern you just slowly die so I'm going to be coming up with a way, and I have to come up with a strategy to be able to sneak in, get an egg, and get out. Because the moment you pick up an egg, they are all of the dragons in the vicinity, not dragons, wyverns, all of the wyverns in the vicinity are going to aggro to you. So I have a feeling I'm probably going to be building a tower full of turrets not even on this map. One, one additional bonus that I really like with the RG is its weight reduction. So I'm going to go pick up some metal here and show you the weight reduction. I think they can still grab Thylas, which means I can get a Thyla Kaleo here soon. This is a good milestone, and I'm happy and honestly shocked that it was this quick. Okay. Harvesting our metal, right? And okay, we've got 225 metal, and you see... My inventory, it weighs 225. When I put it in the RG's inventory, it's half weight. So they are excellent for some starter resource hauling. 
because you can go get a ore node. Let's see how it's fairly it's barely hitting the weight limit. Now I don't need stone, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that. With that, I was able to get the whole node. Now, it's heavy because this is a new RG, and I haven't put any points into weight for it yet. But over time, as it levels, and as I increase its weight, or speed, or damage, or however I want to level it, I'll have a really good utility bird that will ultimately help me with my progression through the game and getting closer to finishing out Scorched Earth. So with that, I am going to close this up here. As always, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, everyone who comments and likes my videos. Uh, your responses are amazing, and I genuinely appreciate it. If you have any suggestions for something that I could do different, or if you would like me to do something specific, let me know. You can find me on Steam, you can find me on Twitter, you can leave a comment below. And with that, and with our new RG, I will say later. Right, bye. Have a great day.